Warning, the following content contains sounds. It has been shown that some sapiens of the Homo have episodic memory towards some sounds. Therefore, forming a bad reaction to certain sounds. Nevertheless, the sounds we use are only to mock actions and notions, which are, of course, ridiculous. We are not mocking the people who have them. No, no, no. Because you know in time, you may change what you do and change what you think. Having said that, this is a correlation sensation. A show where I talk about your mother's mammalian protuberances. Yes, yes. They come in all sorts of shapes, colors and textures and smells. But of course, we will proceed to something more important. Purple are we in a quiz? Quiz. Are we in a supermarket? Bum purple bum. Quiz time. Quiz. Don't you make fun of his beats? It's a snazzy. Yeah, I don't I don't do beats. I just I'm I'm um The only the only time I do beats is when dad comes downstairs with a belt. Yeah, that's how you know you're doing. What is he, a beach farmer? Something like that. Good ape man parenting. Smacking the child around. Beat that child. Don't shake him too hard, though. We've learned about that. Yes. Poor Joffrey. Oh, beating him. Well, Joffrey was a necessary Not much better than shaking the child. He was a baby. What the hell are you talking? As a matter of fact, if you shake a child Get your Dr. P out of here. I'll give you my Dr. P. As a matter of fact, if you shake a child hard enough, at least a child dies. But if you beat the child, they'll have, a, like, a bad problems. So thinking about violence is how you solve your problems. Yeah, use a bag of oranges. Child services won't find out. How do you know? I just eat the bag of oranges. The whole well, bag? I have. Well, you want to take them out of the bag first, you animal? No, it's too much work. I can only imagine him gnawing on all of these oranges through He eats them like gumballs. He just shoves them in his mouth and goes, nom, nom, nom. No, I have the bag on still. Oh, the bag on. He doesn't even untie it. He's like, whoop, orange time. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's just too much energy. But it co- costs energy to eat through the bag and masticate. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, the plastic, you know, it adds a lot of good fiber, you know. Nobody would want to masturbate through that mesh. No, masticate, chew. Were you not listening to... I'm sorry, what did you call me? I said a chew, not a Jew. Oh, okay, well, thanks for clearing it up. Yeah, that's me over here, you bastard. Yes. Yes, what? I mean, Gork is short for Gorkenstein, right? Don't say that again, Void. I'm sorry. I don't want to get beat with the sack of oranges. What's so funny? Hmm? You're laughing at me getting mad? Gork's about to lay down a beat. No, not the banana! Not the banana! Stop it, Gork! Stop it! Okay, anybody know what's about to go down here tonight? Papa Gork's gonna pop a cap in his ass. I mean, he's going to open water. He's gonna pop a cork. He's gonna pop a... Hold on. He's gonna pop a cap in his own ass? Papa Gork is going to twist a cap Uh with his hands. Okay. But you did it with your butt cheeks last time. What? Yeah. Don't talk about our solo time here. Okay, okay. Only fans, I gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. L- listen to our Only Fans Water podcast. Yeah, here we go. Oh. Didn't really pick up much. Yeah, it's not really. Imagine that, that water doesn't come through very well. Oh, it does. Here, here. It's pour pour, right pour glasses up to the microphone. See if that's what. This is voice. <laughs> 
It's not like I don't kiss you on the weekends. Yeah. I mean, I get I get a uh, timeshare with mother. Extra flavor. Extra fancy. We're, oh. we're, 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 we're called oh. a, tr- a truffle oh, or triplet or whatever the fuck uh, polygamy you is. Void, you what? son of a bitch. You ruined the sound of the water trickling into your cup. <laughs> Hope you enjoy my loogie. Give me another now. Okay, yeah, it's made with love, he We're going to try it again. This time, void. Hash. Ah. That tastes like shit. Did you piss in it? <laughs> I just, Didn't mean to be so loud. Sorry, Lisa. I just like a loogie in it. God damn it. Extra texture. Oh. oh, God. Don't get COVID in here. Oh, COVID. Where is my son of mine? Do you know where your son is, boy? Uh, last time I saw him, he was playing in traffic. Yeah, he likes bouncing around from person to person. It's bubbling. Yeah. Now for the PSD La Resistance. <laughs> it's oh. funny, I like the cheaper stuff better. Oh. You f- shut up, you. That plastic bottle Perrier water. It's from a can. Oh, just good. You want some aluminum metal in your sparkling mineral water? I heard a disturbing fact. We what? eat a credit card of plastic a year. <clears throat> okay. From I uh, my credit card yesterday. Fair. Well, well that's two for you. I mean, just from natural uh, drinking bottled water and uh, different candies and containers. And well, good thing I stay away from most of that yeah. boy. Good idea. I know another disturbing fact. What? That you consume on average about five pounds of American asshole every year. Uh, okay. Five pound ain't shit. What? Five pounds. Do you know shit. that an asshole is less than a single ounce? Mm, some people's assholes are. Nope, most assholes. I mean, did you go to up to everyone with the scale and say, "Excuse me, ma'am, yeah. may I may I measure your asshole with a with a sphincter measurer oh. and a scale?" You're actually not going to believe this, but an asshole comes closed. No, there was you mean one, like a sun dried tomato? There's this one corpse kind that actually of. died from. From uh, anal penetration, and uh, the bottle was still in there when I got his corpse. Oh, nice! And it was, whoa, it was like four inch diameter asshole. But how you know, our buttholes can go up to seven inches and then come back normally without any tearing. Yeah, we're lucky not you. Talk about so that, that means we could fit uh, a gerbil and a oh, cat up there. Don't talk about my asshole because again. a cat can fit within seven inches. What kind of fucking cat? Like a puma? No, a regular fucking house cat, because they can, you know... Have you ever seen a Maine Coon? I don't think that the word is sensitive, purple. What? A Maine Coon is a breed of cat. Oh, there you go again. You are deplorable. Me? You're the one saying that naughty word. Maine? Me? You? I'm questioning you call me deplorable, because you said that naughty word. What word? Man, you know. Man? Man what? Man is not a Finish bad it. word, Gord. Finish it. Man what? The type man of cat, on, Man on the moon? You are deplorable, We're not sir. R.E.M. here, Jesus Christ. Who, Who the that? fuck is R.E.M.? <laughs> well, they sang the song Man on the Moon by Andy Kaufman. Once again, does not clarify anything. I do not watch the boob tube. Uh, it's this old Something. 90s movie with Jim Carrey. 90s? Or two thousand, two thousand. I don't know. I can't remember. But I have not seen whatever what you are talking about. R E M. It's the a way. band. There I am, losing my religion, standing in the corner, jerking off. Is that the song? I added that jerking off part. You did it. Well, obviously, we all do it. N- no, we don't. Not like you do it. Yeah. You got I mean, put the cat down, boy. <laughs> I don't have a cat. Not anymore. The panda ate it. If you open up the dirty doors of nastiness and you could hear the echoes of its death still in there, bellowing. <laughs> exactly. Tabby? <laughs> Tabby want an asshole? What? You have another to give? 
No. I, uh, where do you think we, what we do with the corpses' assholes? The more the merrier, Boyd trees. says. The more the merrier, he says. I mean, don't you know that's how they make meow mix? Meow's whole mix. Is that what you tell, uh, uh, at the, uh, everyone at the butthole convention you what, go to? Whatever you are talking about, it is not part of the quiz, I tell you that much. What anal's not going to be on the test? I hope not, because I'm going to be not going to lie. If it is, Void wins. That's, that's oh, you're not true. too shabby. You just gave yourself a dirty Sanchez. I, okay, hold on. Let's just run it back through this. What is a dirty Sanchez? Uh, you shove your fingers <clears throat> up her butt and then rub her lips. So I did that to myself? Well, you rubbed your lips. With? Your dirty finger. How do you know it's dirty? Look, because aren't all our fingers dirty? That is not the answer to question one. Okay. <clears throat> Don't fucking give away my secrets, you son of a okay, bitch. Okay, okay, okay. Just because Spigma makes good lip balm I'll doesn't mean... I'll come across this okay. fucking table. What? You sons of bitches. What? Li- are- Ligma? God damn it. Captain Gooch Gobbler sent me down here with you two. Ah, to be well, fair. he can lick my balls. And you stuck me in the fucking closet instead of Void. Well, Void was more friendly at first. You were kicking and screaming. Yeah, I didn't want to go. Yeah, uh, Captain Gooch Gobbler told me that. Yeah, he heard about the butthole pleasures at Unearth and he said, no fucking way. I don't know what you mean by that, but I'm going to side with you on this one. Okay. Fearlessly. Okay. Yes. He we are not going to feel anything. Could I have some of your nuts? Yes, help yourself. Okay. I just washed my hands. You're fine. And which I mean I spit on. <clears throat> I, spit I, washed. I, by the way, everyone, he did ask for Purple's nuts. Uh, yes, they're a bag of uh, nuts. Ooh, hot and spicy. Oh, yes, a whole bag. Yep, Where do you keep your nuts? Up Purple's bag and reached his hand in there while I'm trying to do the quiz. This quiz is fun so far. So uh, not two episodes ago, I stated that the cerebellar peduncles connect to the cerebrum, which is kind of silly, even though I remember reading it on the damn website. Oh, my notes are running. Was it science.com or what was the one that was? Science Direct. Ah. Anywho, if one took note at all on cerebellar, You'll notice it's very similar to the word cerebellum. So I want to correct it so the cerebellum's connected by the cerebellar peduncles to the rest you of You look the confused. Well, yeah. yeah, because I didn't take notes on cerebellar. I thought you said Helen Keller. Mm, no. Nope, not at all. Well, uh, bad news. You know there's a myth that people believe Helen Keller was a total farce. Really? Yes, they're morons. Okay, first question, Gork. Good idea. <clears throat> so, question number one, I hope you two studied. Okay. Okay, the striate nucleus is also referred to as the corpus striatum. True. True. Both correct. Well, we're off to a good start. Question number two. Striate means stratosphere in Latin. False. False. I see where this is going. True. No, I'm joking. It is false. <laughs> That's two for two. The striate nucleus is part of the basal ganglia. True. True. Well, predictable. Why does he get a piece of paper? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you question Void and me. Yeah, we're not part of the snack club. Void, is is there? Um, I don't even know what that reference is, Void. Would you like one of these beef sticks? Yes. How about you? Where did you get that? A gas station. What's in it? You can look. Yeah. Oh, they look good. Yeah, they look pretty fucking fresh, dog. Gas station. They're kind of pepperoni Well, yes. Smoked pecker. Hmm. We got the pork. Yeah. What is that? Gork yeah. is reading if it has sugar. Corn syrup. Pa. Okay. Yeah. He. What? What does he call? What you? What do you call corn eaters? 
Mm. Momos. Ah. Oh, because they're cow. It's a cow reference. What is a cow? Yeah. What? Oh, that's right. You are in the closet. Those things that we were having scumping fun with. You do know we don't milk humans for milk, right? We don't help oh. music? Your line of thinking completely shut mine down. No, I said we don't milk humans. So milk comes from cows and meat. And be- or beef comes from I cows. milk humans. I don't know about yeah. you guys. You Especially the males. Milk? The males are always so eager to be milked. Oh my God, I drink breast milk. Oh. Breast milk? They don't produce oh. breast milk. What? Yeah, the it, males of this species do not produce, produce you, breast milk. They don't produce? Yeah, they don't produciate. Go ahead and think about it. Is it a word? Doesn't matter. Purple said it. It might as well be. Oh, yeah, you're using the bias because of your fancy smancy British accent. It's called confidence, Gork. Yeah, whatever. It's called the bullshit. It's just his broadcasting voice. Okay. Whatever. Anywho. Haters gonna hate. I don't hate. I love. And maybe they are synonyms. But I still do. I like cinnamon. True. Yeah, that is true. Okay. Oh, nice. Anywho. I just don't want to know how they make nutmeg. You were talking about milking male sapiens of the homo. Yeah. But you said they don't produce milk. No, they do produce, produce milk, just not just out of their... You said they don't. Just not out of their breasts. Oh, my God. Question yeah. number four. The striate nucleus primarily produces dopamine. True. False. That is very false. Oh. Why? That's a one strike for you. Uh, what? Question number five. The striate nucleus receives dopaminergic neurotransmission from the substantia nigra. I'd like to abstain from answering this question based off of morals. Okie dokie. Void, your turn. False. True. Okay. What is going on here? What do you mean? You're going off of the way he answers. If he's confident in his answer, yes, you go along with it. Yeah. But every time he obviously does not know the answer and is guessing, you go the opposite way. And what's the answer? My God, do you not think on your own you have to rely on this guy? Rely on He has the memory. piece of paper with the answers on it. If he doesn't know where we are on the paper, then I'm going to assume it is whatever the opposite he believes it is. He's too busy with the fucking meat. My nuts and no, my meat. Now it's your meat. True. Very true. You plan this, purple. Oh, yes. It's all you part of my void plan. was going to totally go for your nuts and, and your meat. meat. Yeah. And now, void is getting satiated from masticating on your nuts and meat. Okay. I said satiation. I, not not cho- choking, you bastard. You okay? You you want me to do the Heimlich? <coughs> Wrong tube. Thanks for the wire, Gork. Good, because I'm not certified. Certified. And I don't know whether or not you'll sue me if I do something wrong, like break one of your damn ribs. You could just wait until, you know, he's unconscious and then go. <coughs> I just say a yeah. magical dude came in here and stomped on his chest. Okay. Anyway. I'm magical. Question number six. The three, pri- wow. the three primary parts of the striate nucleus are the caudate nucleus, <coughs> the putamen, and the ventral striate. False. True. Oh, my God. Purple, you're... Oh, pretty good. Oh, okay. I do participate actively in this podcast. Yeah, yeah, you do. Uh, the uh, Bootaman part kind of uh, yeah made me think it wasn't. Well, you know what would have we made we covered you... that name several times yeah. two episodes ago. Bootaman. No, 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 no. Pootie, I know. Pootie, 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 pootie everywhere. Pootie, 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 pootie inside your hair. 
a dead giveaway as to it being inaccurate is had he said nucleus, nucleus, any other time. Nucleola, raviola, episode 70, question number seven. The cerebellar peduncles connect the cerebrum. You are just rubbing your ass cheek, not your nose. I'm gonna dig these fingers down in here. I'm gonna bury them between these butt cheeks. You're gonna find brown gold in that nose you call. It's not gold. It's wonderful. Like a putty. Milking it between my fingertips. Purple? Rounding it off. What are you doing? Making little slime. Purple? Is it? Why, what's going on? Oh, oh hello, hello. Hi. There you go. I'm sorry. Well, sometimes I get really uh, carried away. Sometimes you scare me. And that's hard to do because when I look in the mirror, it makes me want to pop my superior meninges. Uh huh. Now, while Void is picking his ass, aka his nose, he's currently just digging through that top drawer. Do not bring that plug over here. You put it down. Put it down. Put it down. All the way down. Uh, not that kind of down. Yeah, that's up, not down. Yes, not in, Don't out. Don't stick it in. Out and down, Void. Down and out. You having a good time in there? Picking the, the who knows what out of your hoo-hoo? Sorry, I was itching my poo tamen. Okay. That's not where it is. We're talking about the brain, not your asshole. It always comes back to I you. thought this was an ass podcast, not a brain podcast. Just because you talk about it all the time does not mean it's supposed to be that. God damn it. Maybe it's my plan. Oh, you fucking bastard. You working with Captain Gooch Gobbler to make me stay here for the rest of my days? I thought you found true love with my mother. It is true. I did. All over the place. Your old room is now a sexuarium. I don't live there anymore, so it doesn't fucking matter what happens. Oh. As long as you don't fucking leave or I'll cut your fucking dick off. I see you standing out there in the backyard staring in the, w- in the window. I'm just checking to see if she orgasms. In the womb, though. Well, yeah, yeah I, I, I was there for nine months. We established that was twelve or thirteen. I forgot. Yeah, we got hit. We had to get you out of there, dog. You yeah, there. we had to get the plunger. Way, way too long. The shop vacuum. Yeah. Your your head came out kind of interesting when we used the shop. Vacuum. I was C-section. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, what? we did cut you out. Yeah, uh, it's uh, only after the 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 vac kind of. Listen, you were mostly out, but you were still stuck. Those two well, duh, It's not back. like he's rearranging her guts on a daily night or evening or every evening. Yeah, actually, I do that. Yeah, most people do. Oh, well, well, you know what? We need to get back to topic. Okay, how many have I gotten right? Oh, don't rub it in purple face. So far, so good, huh? <laughs> Pop a purple. You're over I here telling me. Okay. Fancy. I'm going to riddle your brain. Let's go with the next question. He goes, you might want to study for this one. And I said, why? <laughs> Fuck that. I sent you a whole list. No, you didn't. And I even put TNF right next to the answers. What true. the fuck? To, what is TNF? Oh, you know, true and false. Tits and Fanny. There we go. Void back in the gutter. Well, I mean, we oh. are in a gutter right now, aren't we? This is called your basement, not a gutter. Oh. Okay. The only reason we have to Question be in the basement. Number se- Question number seven. Thank you. The cerebellar pedagogy. You are welcome. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Interrupting cow, moo. You cocksucker. Well, that's not actually a bad thing. I gotta think of a bad... You cock chewer. Well, I mean, that's why he's eating right now. Don't wear it out. That is definitely not cock. That is a cow in the pork, not the chicken. So... Cow and cere- chicken? The cerebellar peduncles. Connect the cerebrum to the rest of the body. I'm going to say true. I'm going to agree with him. Uh, oh, my God. Finally, you got one wrong. I was so used to you guys being wrong. Well, boy, being wrong. And now, now I get giddy with anticipation when he gets a bunch correct. And I get to go. Uh. 
Is that your favorite sound? No, you know what my favorite sound is. I could have said that was coming. Yes, you recorded it on my uh, answering machine so I could hear it. You held it up to when you and your mom, me and my mom were, or you and your mom, me. Whose mother? Just say My mother. mother and him were ha- doing the nasty. Actually, it was afterwards, oh. after I released my load. Queef <laughs> time. Ah, you're playing musical chairs with her. So, question number eight. Although the cerebellar peduncles are tracks that are anatomically set in relation to each other medially to laterally, these tracks are named from superior to inferior, also known as rostral and caudal. This is true. What you say, Purple? Calvin and Hobbes. Boy, you got to their eyes. Oh wait, that was a Purple question. Gave me an invalid that was answer. a. Qu- I didn't know you were asking me a question. Invalid? I don't think there's any invalids here. That's kind of a little insensitive. You mean invalid? Invalid is the same goddamn thing. It spells the same way. Just like anal eyes. No, you don't have eyes in your ass. What the hell are you talking about? No, you know when someone psycho analyzes you. You know. The rapist? You mean the therapist? The therapist is the oh, is rapist. that how that's pronounced? Whoops. Yeah, exactly. I could say a really old joke here, but it's already been dead into the ground. Um, be my guest instead of going on to question nine. Okay, yeah, go ahead and hit me with a joke. Yeah, hit well, me it's a red a versus ha-ha. blue joke. It's not an original joke. A blue oh. joke. It's an old web series. It was about between a pacifier and stuff, but then that a pedophile, and they were talking about a pacifist, what a baby sucks Are you up. skipping all of the parts of the joke to tell me about this joke oh. instead of just telling me the joke? Okay, here's the fucking joke. This is not he a says, critical overview. Is it, he is a pacifist. Oh, you mean the thing a baby sucks on? No, that's a pedophile. No, I don't think that's right. That's the joke. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, it depends on the situation. That's yeah. kind of the joke there. Yeah, you know. <laughs> well, Passivism is perfectly fine. Well, it's not wrong. It happens. I'm not saying I like it. I know someone it happened to. Tendentially. Tendentially? I know the person who is related to the person. Oh, my God. Oh, you what? know a guy who knows a guy. Yes, but who it was the victim that they knew someone, not the person that did it. Boy, you talk about yourself. <clears throat> no. I sure hope not. I'm just going to stop while I'm ahead. Yeah, that'd be great. Because <laughs> put on the shovel, get away from the grave you're digging us into. Okay. No. A person I know knows a person that was us, uh, that had their child assaulted by a person they knew. That's uh, all it was. Uh, uh, That's not uh, just all it was. That was terrible. I know. You it's wanna, fucking horrible. You wanna I said, how'd you not murder that person? Oh, my God. Okay, can we please go on to topic, back to topic? Yes. We've just been waiting for you, Gork. No, you have not. You've been all side railing everything. I'll be side railing your mom later. Go right ahead. I'm side railing Void's mom. You know, I was expecting that answer. Yeah? Where's your side railing? Purple's mom. Come on. Be a triangle of trust. We all know we I think that's. Each other. I think you mean a three-way. Say it, Void. No, no. Say this. you're having sexual intercourse with my mother. Say it, Void. Do it. I'm having sexual intercourse with Purple's grandmother. That's fair. Oh, she, you dirty, dirty ape man! She's a whore. <laughs> we already know. We call her the town wagon. You call her the tongue wagon? No, town wagon. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, and they call me the town crier. Crier? Yes, because I'm so fucking loud. Oh uh, you cry? Oh God. No! God. Way to hit me with your best Mario impression. <laughs> no! <laughs> bye bye, gay Bowser! He says King Bowser, but many children have confused it. I'm going to pause because I got to go urinate. No, wait. You guys you guys continue and get it out of your system, and hopefully by the time I get back, you want to go back to the topic, okay? You not leave the answers we open. We waiting for you. Well, Void, take it easy back there, big dog. No, you got to tell my mother that. 
Okay. She likes to use the strap on. Why did you slam the door? Okay. Hello, everyone. Just void and purple here now. Mm-hmm. In the purple void. In the purple void. I like that. It's like a segment. Into yes. the purple void. Today, into the purple void, we will be discussing what void? How purple is my void? No, it's kidding. How purple is Void's void? Not very purple, because there's nothing. It's a void. What? Okay, I'm completely mind-fucked in our own segment. (laughs) Well, a void is a void of anything, so there is no purple in a void. Grok, welcome back. We just were finishing up an awesome segment here. Who's Grok? Grok. You said Grok. Gork. Gork? Yeah. Doesn't matter. Gork! <laughs> oh, okay, Red. Void, I think he's talking to you. No, no. We made uh, our own uh, segment, uh, and yeah. I blew uh, Purple's mind because he asked, because it Don't was the, it. It was the Purple Void. Just thank you for ruining it. <laughs> okay. It, it will be our little secret until uh, he listens back to it. Yeah, don't yeah. talk about Purple It was our secret until five seconds ago. Void, um... Gork. Next question. Void. I would like to tell you. Yeah. Please get some soap in there. This is why we had to kick you out. There is soap in there. Okay, that little little drop at the bottom, that, that's not enough for someone's hands. Now I'm walking around with my nut grease on my hands. With banana grease? Well, a little bit of that too. Oh. Yeah. Good thing I took a shower after we worked out, Purple. Yes. So you could get whatever finger gunk and then run it through your beard. <laughs> nice. Yes. Oh, that's very interesting. That's flavor. He's yeah. making dingleberries. The best thing about having a beard like this, put it in your mouth. <laughs> a flavor saver, they call it. I'm not going to lie. That was fucking gross. <laughs> Talk about hair pie, Jesus fuck. a lot of shit. I'd want in my mouth is a fucking lady's hair. That's disgusting and borderline rapey. No, it was consenting. I'm just saying. Well, you just said a hair, not a lock. Okay. Yeah, I literally said I was talking about the pubis because that's the only hair that should be in my mouth. Um. Yeah, so back to topic. I thought you would have this out of your system, but apparently not. What? You started this. What do you mean out of our system? You know. Nope. I started nothing. You guys talk about whatever, who knows what, with the purple void. And so, then, that's our fucking segment you're talking about. How about some goddamn respect? I'll give you respect when it's hard, okay? What are you going to do about that void? You're just going to take that? It's at you, not me. Question number nine. It's the most caudal cerebellar peduncle attaches the pons to your cerebellum. True. Obviously, that's false. I'm going to say false. <laughs> Just the way he laughed. Yeah. Who laughed? Gork. I I had a lot of joy. And uh, I don't regret it one bit. It's going to be a long night. Why did you answer in form of question? You have the fucking answers. So, question number 10. The most superior cerebellar peduncle attaches your med... Real quick, who was right on that last question? Purple. Purple was, yes. Boy, hey, guess what? So, question number 10. The most superior cerebellar peduncle attaches your mesencephalon, also known as your midbrain, to your cerebellum. True. Boy. True. I was actually going to say it, too. Okie dokie. Question number 11. False. The middle cerebellar peduncle attaches your pons to your cerebellum. Still say false. False. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, true. Okay. Thank you. Question number You know, he 12. can't make that noise if one of us goes true and the other goes false. Yes, I can. Well, he's trying to find a way, but it's not really the same. We both had the same answer. I fucking know that, Void. But if you would have said true and I would have said false, he could only go... 
one time. But now he got to go, eh, 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 and we knew that this is what really gets his rocks off. And I don't understand why, but it happens. So we got to we gotta work a little bit better together, okay? If, if you're just guessing, just guess the opposite of what I'm saying. Meet me in the fucking middle, man. It's 50-50. Question number 12. The anterior com- Why? What? Were you gonna do something purple? You got Dr. Pecker over there. I'm just waiting for you to read the goddamn question. Okay. True. The anterior commissure connects your olfactory bulb to both your cerebral hemispheres. True. Goddamn void. <laughs> That was correct. Bastard. I actually knew that one. No, did you? Because I remember him going over and over about the bulbous. Okay. Or whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> as long as you remember. Gork is turning purple. What the hell? Oh, factory bulb, you bastard. Oh, bulb. That was the word. Bulbous. You too? No, I just think that that's... Ah! I think Gork is gorking too much. Please go pick up your penis. I don't know why you threw that across the room, but that was unnecessary. You're unnecessary. Question number 13. The size of your anterior commissure is inextricably linked to your sexual preference. False. True. False. Well, not for me. Well, that's just your correlation sensation, then. Question number 14. Along with your striate nucleus, the claustrum is a basal ganglia. True. I'm going to say false. True. So purple, guess what? Ah. I remembered that one. From what? From what? When did you remember that? There's no fucking way you'd remember that. It sounded correct enough to be true, so I remembered yep. it. Yep, I know how that's how that works. Well, no, I remembered the words of it. And it lined up. God damn it, Void. You're ruining our plan. Now I have to edit purple talking about the paper. And now we got to edit this part out. God damn it. It's a whole ass paper. What's the secret there? Oh, it's all written there. Oh, that's the secret? Thank you for sharing. How are you getting so many wrong? Do you not know what numbers match with the letters? You distracted them with your nuts and meat. Uh-huh. Purple went to a gas station and brought tons of snacks. I did. Question 15. When people have a shock sent to their colostrum, awareness of everything we experience is negated. False. True. Purple? Yeah. You got it right. I know. And the void. I got it. I gave you a paper. What, the pimple? And now I am still happy. Let me ask you this question. Void. I remember this one because when I heard it, it sounded right. Does that check out to you? Does that make sense? No, no. It, uh... Sounded right from what I remember. I think you just remember me talking about someone being shocked by something and having their consciousness lost, and you just were put two and two together. He's like, you talked about the glass from two. Maybe if you just remembered there's a piece of paper in your hands, you do a little better. Yeah, that is true, boy. So, boy. Eh. Sorry. No, no, I am joyous right now. I'm enjoying this. Okay. This water. It tastes good. Mm-hmm. Where's that mountain? Let me, let me do a little something here. The mountain. Authentic valley sparkling water. Bottled in the... What the fuck is that called? It's important to understand that they are not a sponsor, but we're going to go ahead and read it off like it is. Go ahead. We're practicing, because one day... We're we going to get sponsored sponsor. by mineral water? Welcome to the circle of success, boys. 
At least I'm not named after a fucking mattress. Oh, what does that mean? Purple's the type of mattress. Void. Your comedy is too topical. You think that I'm named after a mattress. And it was not on topic at all. Which is already not on topic. Back to topic. Just what the fuck are you named after, Void? Nothing. Oh my god. So, 16. His own asshole. Question number 16. No, no Gorge uh, Gash. Why? Please, don't pay attention. Don't pay attention. You He's doing away. that already. What? Your paper? To purple. What? Don't pay attention to purple void. The mattress? What do you want him to not pay attention to? The being that's sitting to your right for it. He's not just a jizz puppet. You just looked over there. Hello, Void. Question 16, Void. What? The Oliveri nucleus is located in your basal ganglia. That is true. That's false. Void? Yeah. False. Purple. Good job. Yeah, you do that right. Yeah, uh, what? Well, why are you giving him hand signals? Gordon? Oh yeah, he, he's giving me. He gave you a whole piece of paper. What are you talking about? There's nothing written on it. Show me. Question number seventeen. Oh my God, they all are true false. Go no. ahead. Question seventeen is false. The olivary nucleus regulates incoming signals from your peripheral nervous system with gamma aminobutyric acid neurotransmission. Prior to the signals being sent to your cerebellum. True. It's the paper void. Just read the fucking paper. That was true. Okay. And no. purple, you negated your answer by doing that. There goes the no paper outburst. bit. Hmm, throw that shit. Okay. You're done? I mean, as done as I'll ever be. Wow, well, okay. And well, I have to tap we're into the old, the old uh-huh. noggin. What? Nougat? Yes, Void. Nougat. I need to tap into my fucking nougat. Yeah. Creamy. It was a very vibrant description. Thank you for elucidating, Void. Elucidating. It's a very interesting word. Ah. You made it up. No shit. No? Elucidating? You never elucidated anything? Allow me to... Look it up. Elucidating. Elucidating. And the googly tits. Yeah. Question number 18. Or the, no, we'll wait for the purple narple. E L U C I D A T E. Elucidate. It's basically. It is a word. Nah, no shit. Besides, words are made up anyways. Yeah, probably learn a new word so he can sound special. Elucidate. Yeah. Verb. Garand or present part- participle. Part- participle. Yeah, participle. What the, the fuck does that mean? Participle? It's a thing where you like participate a, with. Yeah. yeah, you're an individual. You are a... Look at the root, goddammit. A pupil oh, of participating. Okay. A participable. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're so I think for there I am well, kind of thing. Uh, elucidate. Okay, interesting. All right, move on. Next one. Uh-huh. Back to topic. That is not how I sound. That's exactly That's how you sound. Thanks, Void. Yeah. Well, yeah, I thought Void. Gork said that. Void. I'm not not gonna thank you for elucidating that time, you bastard. Oh, Gork, you said it, didn't you? Number 18, Void. What? The Oliveri nucleus is not located in your medulla. That is false. Okay, hold on, real quick, before I answer, why is it false? Because it just sounds fucking made up. Okay, I'm going with true. It's false. <laughs> Purple. Man. And the reason why I did that was because I thought Void would go, oh, that's completely made up. So that's why I put is not. Because as a matter of fact, your Oliveri nucleus is located in your medulla. But um, Void did not pay attention to the is not part. So he said it's made up. False. Well, that was the one that I really worked hard on, Purple. Well, you did a good job. In purple, I am so happy you got the wrong because I still to get to go. Is that the sound you make with my mother? 
I make a lot of sounds. That's not the sound. That's what is the sound? One of thousands of sounds. Okay. Does he go wee woo wee woo wee woo? I put one leg over my shoulder. Your own leg over your shoulder. One leg. I did not specify whom. Which way? A front way or a back way? Doesn't matter. It's over his shoulder. I put another leg over my shoulder. How are you standing at this point? I'm sitting down already. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That checks out. Those are not my legs. Those are someone else's legs. And I go... "Mm, mm, 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 Just anybody's mm, legs in the room? No, not here. Maybe for it. Purple... I reserve you as bottom bitch. Well, I'm glad that that reservation has never been brought up. Question number 19. The pyramid tracks are not on the anterior portion of your brainstem. That's false. Purple. The ball is in your mouth. I mean, cord. Okay. One more time. What was the question? The pyramid tracks are not... On the anterior portion of your brainstem. So, if I were to break down this question psychologically, the last time you added the word not into a question, it's because Void believed that it would sound fictitious otherwise. Void, are you of the sound mind that this would be continuing that line of logic? No, I thought the other way, the actual way that... He were the question to trick us. This could be the biggest fucking brain play from Void I've ever heard. Uh, And you said false? Yeah. I'm going to agree with you, Void. Predictable I am. I got to change it all up now. You got it right. Question. Well, I just remembered also that the pyramid part did go at the bottom of the stem. You got it right. You're fine. You don't have to get your feelings hurt. Hey, Gork. God. Question 20. There are two separate tracks called a cortical... Testicles. Oh, I apologize. It's true, false. Go ahead. Yes, it's true. You do have testicles. All four of them. There are two separate tracks called the cerebell... No, the cortical bulbar and cortical spinal tracks that are part of the pyramid tracks. True. Okay, I'm, okay, saying, I'm saying false as fuck, dog. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Purple. Ah. Okay, well, hey, I guess I had that one coming. Who else got the poker face? Me. <laughs> no, I remembered stuff he heard about. I'm like, that sounds lines up correctly. Yeah, nah, yeah, that's... The really? recollection of your memory is oftentimes the most confusing thing I've ever had to do. I remember with. bits and pieces. But I'm not convinced you do. No, I remember bits and pieces of what go together, like small little world, like tract and pyramid or something like sure. that. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, correlates. What? No, it's cool. I'm just along for the ride. <laughs> yeah, it's a fun, bumpy ride, huh? Yeah. So the podcast listener. Nah. So what are you doing, Purple? You, uh, I have a knot in my sister? muscle. I can see it. You have a nut in your muscle? Oh. You have a nut in your a muscle? A nut in my mouth Your muscle? Yes, I do. Oh, it's it's probably a tear or a... Uh... Oh, next week I'll bring you something special. I'm good. <laughs> That's a suppository. Yeah, last time that was what? said to me, you killed my panda. First of all, that was Fuzzy Wuzzy. He was my panda and that was Void, not me. Gork, you signed his death warrant when you gave him to me. You know what I do with pets. You son of a bitch. We'll just call you a pet, Void. You just literally fucking just said, here you go, here's Purple's Panda. I just thought about it. Me calling you a son of a bitch is not a good thing. You were calling your lover a bitch. Only on certain nights when she wants to be demeaned. Oh, yes, uh, uh, term of endearment. Oh, yes, I can't tell you how many nights in the last week I'm like, mm, demean me. You've never someone obviously had a kinky you chick. You don't like it, but someone may like it. Yes. I, I've had called women whores before because they've asked me. Yeah. Have you ever heard them ask you to... No, you haven't. I Slap them in the face. 
I not hard, I but you know, that. just like an like like the equivalent of spanking, I but on spank. the face. I want oh, you to put slapping. rocks in a sock and beat my ass. That's that's over the top, purple. See? Is it? I feel like it's right in line. I punched someone's ass before because they asked me. Was was his name? It was a woman, purple. How do you know? Well, I was deep inside that vagina, motherfucker. This reminds me. Question 21. She says, punch my ass, your dick deep. And she goes, I want you to charlie horse my left ass cheek as hard as you can. I want. I wasn't in her charlie while I did it. I said I was horse. in her around the time. And we're just foreplaying and she liked being roughed up a bit. So she's like. When you're in her, it's no longer considered foreplay. It's like game time, you know? I know, but the, the, there's Wait, four... Wait, hold on, hold on. I think... You uh, can do foreplay when you're penetrating. Come on, Purple. Come on. Work up your game, buddy. I've no, never... No, 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 but this is foreplay. I've never had a woman suck my dick as my dick entered her vagina. No, but foreplay is not limited to sucking someone's genitals. Yes. Foreplay is the whole thing, because the fact is this is sucking for round toes, two. Sucking the, thighs, sucking fingers. And not just nipples, chicken strips. Punching ass cheeks. Uh, you may think this, but For that is people. actually a thing. People like bruises. Like, they like the feeling of bruises in certain oh, areas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, haven't you ever been like, I've been, you fucked her so hard, she had bruises on her knees, and fucking she was dirty and had marks from the carpet and stuff? <laughs> no, this is fucking normal. That's what normal this people. This is fucking Why normal. Why am I editing that out? It's That's true. Li- Some people like getting beat up. You're saying that this is normal. Yes, it is normal because no, it is no. within reasonable consent of what I, they want. I will tell you right now. Define normal. Yeah, because that's the thing. Listen, everyone has a king, sure. I would not say that... Everyone wants they, to be beat there, there was never a bloody or anything like that as well. with bruise reason. him real good. I just... Make him remember next time they yeah. speak up. I mean, nah, it's, it's on the face. <laughs> Jesus, I don't punch him in the face. Okay. It will be like okay. a little Boyd, slappy Boyd. slap in Boyd, the Boyd, face if Boyd. they want it. Boyd, you gotta calm down. I'm Take passionate deep. about sex, Take man. A, Take a deep breath. Passionate Boyd. about that ass punch. Exactly. I love giving women what they want, whenever they want, because wait, I'm a pleaser. Wait, 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 wait. Sexually, not everything. Ass punch. Yeah. We're talking about putting Kool-Aid up the ass and... No, 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 no. You're thinking fruit punch. He's talking about um, giving the old Mike Tyson fucking... Not giving him a fucking black eye or pushing him downstairs. It's little That's love That's OJ Simpson, you bastard. Oh, no. Uh, race. It's the motherfucker. That's a Chris Brown situation there. Yes, but that's not if it's within consent and they ask for it as in like, yes, do this, do that. Okie dokie. Let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, you know, let's do something that doesn't piss Void off anymore and actually makes me happy. Sorry, I'm just really passionate Question about the rough one, sex. I know. I, I've noticed that. I've taken notes several times with your mom and you and me. And oh, was it your mom? Uh, he should plead the fifth right now. Were you there? Did your mom Question. go, I want one of Question. you to punch my left ass cheek. Okay. I want the other to punch the right ass cheek. I don't want to be able to sit tomorrow. Okay, okay. I'm hovering only on the toilet. That's actually a good idea, Purple. Question 21. The cortical bulb track sends efferent signals to... Haven't you heard the song, Smash oh, My Bitch? My fucking God, Void. Would you please just stop, you son of a motherfucker? Don't talk about your girlfriend like that. Don't talk about your mother like that. I know, but I'm playing to his sympathy of like, oh shit, I shouldn't be. Okay, sorry. Back to the question. God damn it, yes! Okay. What, What, we're on a podcast? Is that what we're doing? I think the CO... Back to question CO, three. The CO leak might have been doing something here. No, it's just farts. No, no methane. We don't fart methane. Oh, we don't? We don't have methane coming out of our assholes? Not all the time. No, not all the time. But for me... Haven't you heard of a gas leak? Oh, you know what? I got a good one. Question 21. The cortical bulbar tracks send efferent signals to your head and neck. 
I thought you said you had a good one. False. I'm just guessing. Obviously true. Yes, true. Question 22. The cortical spinal tract does not send signals to your body below the neck. That one is false. Repeat the question slowly. The cortical spinal tract does not send the signals to your body below the neck. It does. Whatever one that one means, it does. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. You got the right purple and void. Do, 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 do. Ah, ah, ah. I said false. You said true. No, I said false. No, I'm going to edit that out, and so I'm going to cut the false, put it in there so I can say... You can't just ah, gloat ah. just because you think someone got it. You weren't listening. I'm always winning. Okay. President of the United States. Question 23. Biden? The thalamus. <laughs> Biden. No. The you real mean by Americans. Day? Real Americans voted for Gork. Question 23. The thalamus look, don't look at me like that, purple. I didn't think you had a ballot out there, dog. That's just, I can't help it. You're just, bah, shut up. Question 23. The thalamus looks like an egg on both sides of your brain as the most medial ganglia of the basal ganglia. That is true. Purple. Why is it true? Because it looks like a fucking egg. Okay, well, yeah, I'm sold. True. Ah! You son of a bitch. What a mockery. He was so convincing in his argument. I think that's why he put it in there. I had no idea you were going to take it that way, Void. It's me we're talking about. Hey, <laughs> Yeah, sometimes I don't think about you. But sometimes you do. Well, of course. He's my little baluba. Uh, don't snort Child support's late, motherfucker. I am wholly convinced that you just have a line on Doc, and any time you can interject to just say that line, you do. It's actually a chip I put in his head. Oh, okay. It what? Went, it went along with the... The vaccine, wink, wink. I'll show you. I, I'll show you. We'll continue, but when I get the urge, when it bottles up inside it, I'm going to let it rise to the top, and then I'm just going to fucking say some shit, dude. That's my comedy style. Don't worry. John about. Wilkes Booth assassinated Lincoln. See how it goes? It, I don't, it, it doesn't actually contextually make sense. Apricots and onside applesauce. Yeah, it feels good. I'm not going to lie. It's just not... Not for me. Nope. We'll leave it to you, Void. I think it's a Void thing. Our brains work differently, obviously. This is Ron, a fucking brain podcast. That's obvious. Sometimes I wet my bed. (laughs) No, you're just squirting. There's a big difference, actually. We covered that last episode. Yes, I know. Do you? Do you just remember? Was that true or false, Void? What, that you pissed the bed? Don't you talk about me wetting my bed. You mean don't talk about my mother that way? Hold Here on. we go again. Roses are red. Sometimes white and pink. Boxes when it, full of posies. You know when it gets to the top, it's just like a... Like a simmering tea like kettle. A tea kettle. Yeah. Yes, yes. And then Void's like, and here it goes. Smoke bullshit. He's not even looking at us. He's like, what can I think of that would be funny to say? Yep. And it's like, he hears us like this. You need to work on an impression of me that's a little offensive. Go ahead. No, he goes. By golly. By golly. When the fuck? Okay, listen. Well, you just said there. He's just trying to be hurtful at this point. I don't understand. And do it at least, Gork. Go ahead. I know you got one in there. I'm all out of ideas. Next question, then. Okay. Question number 24. The thalamus, although related and close to the basal ganglia, is considered not a part of your basal ganglia. True. For egg reasons? No. Okay. Break it down for me. 
convince me that it is true. He said it's close to your basal ganglia, but not part of, of your basal ganglia. Okay, that does it. Uh, false. Purple. Yeah. It brings me great pleasure to say the void. You got it right. That's what brings you pleasure? This time. Well, it sounded like a right consistent now. thing out of a book. Did it's, you hear what he said? It's not as great pleasure than me saying ah, to you. Felt good. Rob Schneider. Not a bad actor. A terrible human being, though. Purple. Yeah. Jackass. Okay. <laughs> but he is. He's terribly racist. How do you. Purple? What? Yeah, I didn't. I'm not. He's a crazy ass Republican. Like, super this crazy. Doesn't... What? Okay. Okay. Get away from the ape brain point. Oh, sorry. 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 The we'll have a conversation later. <laughs> okay. 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 Tabled. And the. For your information, Void, it was not from a book. It came out of my fingers. Ah. Uh, no, no, but I mean like a factual statement of like, mm. it could have been listed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Question 25. The thalamus is considered to be a regular regulator of incoming and outcoming signals. True. To and from the peripheral nervous system to your forebrain. I think that is a half true statement, but I think it's false. What parts, what what half is wrong there? No, 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 what it does, but what it goes yeah, back and forth to. Yeah, me. I don't know. I just have a feeling. Yeah, he got a gut feeling. It's it's true. Oh, I'm a fucking uh, moron. You're taking with your gut. <laughs> uh, I need a fucking start punching my gut. Oh, Fuck God. you. Relax. It's okay. Fuck you, gut. Boy. What? Don't do that. It's not good. Cool. It's probably why your gut feelings are wrong. You beat the shit out of yourself, and now it's afraid to answer. You give yourself neurological damage in your stomach. An ulcer. Yeah, that's what we think with. Some people would say that an ulcer actually, is worse than stomach cancer. Actually, it is true. You have the majority of your serotonin produced by your gut, and half of your dopamine from your gut. So, oh, and GABA, too. There you go. What's GABA? Gamma amino butyric acid. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an inhi- it's an inhibitory neurotransmitter. Oh yes, yes, yes. That's very important to thinking. I'm actually being serious. Well, of course, this is all talking about uh, neuroscience. So yeah, there you go, boy. Like I rolled over your nuts, purple. Hey, purple. Did you know this is all about you know your brain? My brain? Yeah. No, it isn't. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyways, question twenty-six. The stria terminalis is located ventrally and medially as part of your thalamus. As a part of your thalamus. I have no fucking clue. I would say true. It's the, false. It's not a part of your thalamus. But there's something else you should know. What? 27. Knowing the definition of stria in terminalis, one could deduce... That stria terminalis is a terminal for sending signals with white matter that makes a striped appearance because of myelination. Yes, this is true. And it also sends signals to your thalamus. This is the zebra thing we talked about last week. But it's week. all part of the same thing. Wow. Do you think we talked about it last week? Void. No, I'm two weeks ago, I mean. Okay. You understand why I might think that your memory is a slightly faulty place. Why? Yeah, you'll remember soon. What? Next time you answer a question. And you just spot check your memory. Extra credit. The stria terminalis. I think I passed. I don't want to do it. Um, was that true? Was fill in the blanks? These are fill in the blanks? These aren't true false? No. Hell no, this is void written all over it. What was the last answer, Gork? You want the last answer? Yeah, you never said it. Well, it's true. Okay, that's what I thought. No, well, that's not it, what you thought. You yeah, thought. You asked me what it was, and he said, that's what I thought. You thought. You, say true? you said false. No, I said true. No, I, don't I know said what he true. Said. I was too paid as a. It was nothing about the zebra. I said true. No, it, that wasn't the question. That was follow up information to the question. He said true, though. I said true. Pretty sure he said true. He, he said, said false. I, I said true. I was going 
like this. And then he said... Wait one second. Let's play it back. Okay. That way we can actually resolve this thing on the same episode. I regret to inform you that after reviewing the the tapes, the play on the field stands, and for some fucking reason, uh, Void was correct there. Well, I mean, Purple, remember when you were talking about Void and how you questioned his memory? Yes. Well, now you can look in the mirror and say the same thing. I will kill you. You will be the first to die. Well, that's good. It will rain with your okay, blood. Okay, Hannibal Lecter, Jesus Christ. Hannibal Lecter, Jesus Christ is a very long name. It's not something that would suit Don't me. Don't want it out. I love that musical. Do you not want to do an extra credit? No, no, we could do extra credit. Void does. Fill in the blank's not really my style. I mean, It's I'll not fill it. in the blank. It's true, false. He was joking. Okay. How do you know that? He sent us the sheet. Okay. He did not send me the fucking sheet. It was in your email. The talent oh, sent... No, it one. wasn't. I just sent it to you, boy. Oh, okay. And why... Why? You look at the sheet, and now you get all these things wrong. Mostly. I skimmed it. Yeah, I could tell. You did a good job skimming. Rummaging. With your belly button lint or whatever it is. Hold on. To be fair, this totally supports the argument that his memory works in these somewhat unfoggy blips. As to some of them, he just remembers. Well, that's like everybody. Gork, I love you so goddamn much. I love you too, Purple. I would hate to bury you alive. Well, that's easy. Don't do it. Yeah, I really don't want to. I just need one reason not to. And right now, I don't have that reason. Wow. That's good. No, that's bad. Well, bad for you, because uh, I'll kick your ass. Good one. I'll cut off yeah, your nuts ki- and stick them in your face. And then I'll sew your lips shut. And then I'll bash your head up against my asshole. As I shit. Are you okay? Like, psychologically? No, I think you mean scatologically. I mean, he started with, I'm going to kick your ass, and then I'm going to skin you alive and drain your blood into a bucket and make you drink it. No, once again, Purple, your memory is kind of like a void or something. No, I'm just escalating it like you did. No, I, I didn't. No. I what, do you mean, what do you mean you did not escalate that? It's not the same thing. I'm going sc- to sew your fucking eyeballs shut in your mouth, too, and then I'm going to shit on your face. No. I'm going to ram your face oh, that sounds terrible. straight into my asshole wow. like, the, like the cathedral on the hunchback of Notre Dame. We're Nothing gonna, like that. We're going to bust that motherfucker you in. You get to taste your nuts forever. That's it's all. Notre Dame. Not, Notre Dame is the college. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Void. Let's show purple. You should know that you're French, aren't you? No. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not French. French. I'm purple. My name's Gork, and I like ass and pussy. Well, that's a true statement. High five to that, Gork. Yeah. As mom's ass and pussy. No, 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 no. What do you mean, no? Yes, 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 yes. We've all established this last weekend. This it's is published and this everything. Is narrative. This is true. It's canon, dog. Okay, okay, buddy. I thought that was uh, oh, doctor uh, okay, pa- patient on. confidentiality. Who's oh. the doctor here? Not me. Well, I mean, my mom checks out your nuts. Okay. Yeah. That's good to know. Thank you for sharing. I didn't know. She doesn't do turn your head and cough. Does she do that for you? Do you know why they do that? Does she have uh, torsion? No, it's not to test. Let me start that over. No, it's not to test testicular torsion. They never made me cough. They just played around with it. And one time they put it in their mouth. This is derailed. Back to topic. No, but why do they do it? Uh, it's to test. <laughs> Void. It's to test for a hernia. Oh. If your nuts go up, then that means the muscles that help pull your 
testicles up. I forgot. What is the long tubular end of the testes? I don't know. You do know that's torsion, though. What? Well, I mean, if your nuts don't go up correctly, that's torsion. Uh, you probably know. shouldn't be touching your fucking eye after eating your hot, salty nuts. Oh, we're getting into a nice fight. Then let me clear out the table. No, 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 because weren't you eating these two and then you touched your eye? Well, here's the problem, because according to Google, uh, testicular torsion is a twisting of the male organ that makes hormones and sperm, the testicle. When the testicle rotates, testicular torsion, it twists the cord supply, supplying blood to the loose bag of skin, scrotum, beneath the penis. Didn't it also happen to purple? Didn't you have that happen when you were in the military? No, that was one of my friends. He vomited everywhere, filled up every sink. It was disgusting. I don't know why he would puke in a sink, but he had to go to the um, emergency room. No, I had a varicose seal on my testicle. You had, What about a sea lion? Good job, Void. No, what was the thing you I had? I am not Void, goddammit! You huh? are about down! Where's my scepter? It's right next to your penis, just laying on the floor over there. That's Void's penis. Nope, that was you ripping your own dick off, throwing it across the room. No, the thing you call a scepter, you moron. That is a big Oh, I'm penis. sorry, my eight-man brain went to bonkers. For calling you a moron, my bad. No, I forgive it. Most of the time when you say those things, I think it's just to deflect your own, you know. I'm not emotional! <laughs> Who was that? Where'd it go? Let's see if we can remember. Hey, hey, boy! What? Where'd our prisoner go? Fuck. Oh, we're in deep shit now. Oh, God, he broke my fence we in the back. We gotta finish this up. I think he's riding the panda bear. The panda bear corpse? Necrobestiophiliac? Is, is really that Cal Decapitation album name? We're just making up names for things that are happening around here. And I don't know if it's... Necrophilia bestiality. Okay, there we go. That's the phrase. Necrobestiophilia. Yeah, that's a good one, too. Philia beastly. Is that the sequel to Necro. Human Centipede? He said philia beastly. He took the word, the, the, the phrase, that essentially they should makes bear... it a philia, <laughs> and just switched the word beastie... And philia. Beastly necrophilia up, purple. What was the thing way that you said it, purple? I don't even remember, dog. We'd have to play it back. <laughs> philia beastly. Necro beastly philia? The I challenge, Saffron, is the blank a part of your nervous system. Oh, yeah, this is fill in blank, and you're like, oh, he's a fucking kid. I thought it was true false. True. Okay. <laughs> talent Saffron. Purple, you got this, buddy. Tell me about the talent Saffron. Okay, yeah, I can tell you about Teflon. Uh, it's a very sturdy... My mind went there, too. God damn it. Ah, I think I have an aneurysm. Well, hopefully not on a brain podcast, because that'd be fucking ironic. Irony. No, that's not irony. Why? It's a coincidence. We're talking about the brain having an aneurysm. They are both related. It's coincidental. Like, isn't that um, a coincidence? He was talking about the brain. Something wrong happened to his brain. No, that's definitely irony. That's... Oh, my God. Boy, tell me about the tail and Zephlon, buddy. Tell me about it. I know that if you uh, use metal on Teflon, you can get cancer from scraping it. Yep. It's not microwavable. Well, duh, will fucking spark it and fucking create a nuclear reaction practically. Not so really. the talent Cephalon is the <laughs> most evolved leaf. part of uh, the sapiens of Homo or in species on this planet. That's what I was going to say. Yes. I, you I, just didn't I let me get there. I feeling you were going to say something like that. Yeah, you didn't let me get there. You cut uh, me off. Yeah, I, I let you do whatever you're doing with Void. Uh, Graceful. Communicating? Yeah, about the most important thing We ever. were getting there. You were just being impatient. I've been waiting for an hour and 19 some odd minutes. Okay, next question. The diencephalon is just below the most recently developed part of consciousness of the eight-man brain. 
And it is called... What? The part that die in Cephalon is below. It's like he's speaking a whole different language or something. The Talon Cephalon, I just said it. Last question. Talon Cephalon. Yeah, there you go. You got it. I got Clever it. for you. Round oh, of yeah. applause on my nuts. No, on my nuts. Oh, yeah. I wish I would have never seen that. You like how they stretch so far? I did not like how they stretch so They're far. They're like Silly Putty. It is. That's the second time Silly Putty's been referenced in the podcast this evening. Are when was sure the first time? That? You missed it. You're going to have to listen back. Okay, keep going. You don't remember. You don't remember talking about that Silly Putty. All I could do was focus on how you were working staring at me so intently I kind of shriveled my nuts up. Working yeah, like yeah, get nice, the dick out of your hand. Get a nice little ball of silly putty going between So, uh, um, purple, purple, snap out of it. I can't. Purple! Yes. Point. Yes, Skork. You said purple first, fucker. Only to snap you out of it. Point. Yes. I think purple is the one who let our prisoner loose. And I left up our nuclear reactor. Upstairs. We don't exactly lock the fucking doors. You mean our blender? I can't make margaritas anymore? Is that what you've been drinking out of? That explains so oh much. Oh my god. Holy shit. Void. Well, I mean, why, do, why am I growing a this third? This has got to I be like a how Google Plex t- time. Half-Life? Left for Dead 2. Yeah. <laughs> Purple. Void's life is going to be... Half-Life is going to be a short amount of time because the half-life on the nuclear reaction going on in its body is going to be... Yeah. Well, yeah, I sleep with it and cuddle with it, too. You no, know, I noticed there is a little lump growing on your neck. You got to get that look at. I call that Jeffrey. Yeah. Remember Joffrey? I showed you his brain two episodes ago. Yes, go on. I need to find another body. You I want to show your brain. I want to show you guys another brain. Oh, like, why? Like a like a Homo sapien brain? Yeah, good idea. Just a regular brain. Yeah, Just have a panda. That's not a sapien of the Homo brain. No, it'd be weird to understand. Why you say it like that, sapien of the Homo? Why not? What? Homo not? sapien. You're speaking like one of them. We're trying to blend in. Yeah. Uh, They're supposed to blend into us. I get it now. Nope. You got that backwards there, buddy. <laughs> no, we're supposed to change it to be more like us. But we're supposed to blend in while doing it. Right. It's like a... How are we supposed to change their minds if we don't communicate effectively? Or appear to their bias. Or appeal to their bias. Yeah. So... You want me to look up the next topic? It's a new topic. Yeah, after every quiz, we get a new topic. Oh, are there any more extra credit? Are you going to answer any of them? Yeah, uh, you, you didn't get any extra credit, Void. Oh, nice. You passed all. You did pretty good. I'm glad I gave you that paper. So you can get some wrong. It looked like cheating if you got them all right. Yeah, good job. I gotta just edit the parts out of us talking about the paper, and we're good. Yeah. It'll make it feel more authentic. The integrity of your mind will still be there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm also a little tired, tired too. Why? Why are you tired? Well, I worked all day. <laughs> Welcome back to the next segment of The Purple Void. Gork is stroking his beard. Let's all stroke our beards. Our segments are so interesting always. Yes, they're about nothing and the color purple. Most of the time, that's what it ends out to be. Sorry, I'm not being much of a feedback. I'm actually starting to get really effing tired. Wake up. (laughs) Oh, okay. I tried shaking my head. It's still, uh, after working a full day, it kind of drained you. And you guys worked out before that. How was that? How are your shins? Did well, you bang them hard? I did something with them. 
Uh, yeah, I was bleeding all over the damn place. We're doing deadlifts today. Oh. So I scuffed up my... How many dead bodies did you lift? At least one. And I got his blood on my shorts. I mean, <laughs> Yes. Jesus. Did you buy him some club soda? For what? That gets the blood out of fabrics. Why would you want to get the blood out of fabric? Yeah, you want to remember it. Yeah, it's like a memory. Okay. Something you should know all about, boy. Why is my nose bleeding? I don't remember. <laughs> Let's cover. Do you smell toast? Let's cover the sapien of a homo called Jason Pretensis. I thought you were going to say Voorhees. I no. thought I was going to say Jason Mraz. Jason no. Pretensis. What's his name? The big guy that was in Game of Thrones and Aquaman? Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa. Not as big as the mountain. Oh. Half your Bjornsson. Yeah. He's the big huge dead dude that uh, yeah, was you know. recast several times and then became a bodybuilder. No. Strongman. Not Strongman. Bodybuilder. That's what I meant. Big difference. Yes. He lifts stones and throws them. And logs. He usually throws kegs in sacks. He oh, yes. picks up stones and sets them on things. Yeah, he has the world record for the heaviest lift. Did he get beat yet? But then he uh, he actually took it back. So it's an ongoing battle. I think of what it is. is uh, he did the lift while in his own garage rather than uh, a big area surrounded also, by Also, it wasn't sanctioned. Well, it was sanctioned. It, uh, well, it wasn't sanctioned, but they had a professional guy who verifies the weights. But I don't think it counts because you have the added pressures of an actual event. That's my take on it. Oh, so it's a masturbation versus having sex with the real homo sapien. So we're doing Jason Pretensis next week, I hope. We'll do his biography. Yeah, we do his biography. He's well known for something. And it's like publishing a book called De Cerebri Morbus. It's a neurological disease. Now I know who the necrophiliac is. Nothing gets me rock hard like disease. Of dead people. Disease of dead people. Sorry, I'm a Rob Zombie Can fan. Can dead people contract diseases? No, carry diseases. Oh, okay. Yes. But yes, can they uh, contract? bacteria. Yeah. Do you know what a disease is? Yes. Do you know what an infection is? Yes. We can get diseases from infections. Yep. Like what? You never heard of... Uh, your brain getting eaten up by something that is a bacteria, like meningitis. That's a disease. Meningitis is not a disease. It's an infection. Yes, but it causes literally. If, break down the word. This is. Your brain being swollen by a flesh-eating bacteria is a pretty big disease. I'm going to Google this. I don't believe you. Oh, is meningitis a disease? It says no, it isn't. It's an infection. Go fucking figure. I just cracked my neck. That felt good. Oh. An ailment, disorder, affliction, condition, indisposition, a problem, trouble, disability, defect. Plague, cancer, canker, blight, bug, virus. He's looking at the macro, not the micro. Contagion. Okay, well, while you continue this, I'm going to contagion. read... Contagion? Oh, what is a contagion? Do you think a flesh-eating bacteria would be contagious? Oh. Are you trying to say that that would classify literally every bacteria or virus? Not every bacteria. That Most could bacteria jump? is not harmful. That could jump from host to host would be considered a contagion. Yes, actually. But here's fact, the thing. Uh, let me, okay, let me, let me just break this down for you. I'm going to read it for you. Okay, dokie. I believe meningitis, bombs. inflammation of a brain and spinal cord membranes, typically caused by an infection. Meningitis is usually caused by a viral infection, but can also be bacterial or fungal. Vaccines can prevent some forms of meningitis. Yes. Look up definition of disease. Gork always looking at the macro. No, just looking at the definition. 
Just like what we got argued over yesterday. I mean, last week. I know, but that's, that's macro. The same, but do you not realize it's all about definition? The most arguments are because of the way people understand words. It's very true. That's why in Plato's book on the Republic, in the beginning, Socrates says, first, we must come to an understanding of the de definition of words we are using, such as justice. And that's what he did. Because that's how people come to an understanding. Are you scolding him? Yeah, it's because he's being very ridiculous. His eight-man brain is turned up to 11. Got to turn that down. Okay, so I think what you're trying to go for is an infectious disease. No, disease. It's not the same. Definition of disease. Definition of infection. An infectious disease, you can get meningitis from person to person. He always looks at the big blanket macro to suit his there you definition. Go. Logic, Isn't that exactly what he's doing? You just used a generalization on me to say that's what I'm doing. You're being hypocritical right now, Void. You gotta calm down. I'm not. Take I'm just literally breath. saying what okay. you did. Hey, get the tranquilizer, Purple. Ah, well, next week we leave in peace. Bye. Ah, boy, no. I'm gonna. So much confusion or mystified war of delusions. So many people desire to shut you down. They'll rip apart their vision of you and spray it around. I've read that respect was an adventure.